This is Finished Work TV, a place of inspiration, wisdom, and revelation. As you listen and receive God's Word today, your life will never remain the same. Glory be to God. This is the day the Lord has made for rejoice in the glad. You're welcome to pray and prophesy to your day. Expect harvest of supernatural miracles. Miracles are supernatural in origin. They are proof of God's goodness and the expression of His mercy. When the miraculous is in operation, there is no limit to what we can do or what we can receive. God wants us to experience the miraculous. You know, for some people, when they try things from the natural perspective and they experience limitation, you see them walking away, telling themselves, it's not possible, I can do this, I can achieve this. But there is the miraculous factor. And God doesn't want us in our walk of faith to exclude the miraculous factor. The reason being, there are certain things in the natural that our human ability or skill or potential may not be able to produce. And this is why we need the manifestation of the miraculous. You know, in Acts 10, uh, 37, Acts chapter 10, verse uh, 37, in Acts 10, 37, uh, look at the scripture here. It said something very powerful. I believe by reading this to you to inspire in Acts 10 37 is said here, watch this. Is that how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and with power? How God and because of the presence of the Holy Spirit that energized, empowered, inspired, and helped him to see possibilities, it is by the Spirit. The miraculous that happened, the possibilities, it is by the Spirit. The miraculous that happened, the ministry of Jesus was as a result of the help of the Holy Spirit. He had a scripture and that he said, poets, right? Uh, sorry, the right to look at Luke was, uh, look at as was saying, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and with power. Luke wrote this knowing there is a power in the word. When Dr. Luke wrote this, uh, he, he knew there is power in it. He said, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and with power. He anointed him with Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good. He said, the purpose of the anointing is to put you in a position where you manifest the will of God. And God's goodness, God's, God's goodness is, is, is God's will. The will of God is rooted in the goodness of God. So here we saw that he was anointed with power and he was doing the miraculous. Can I say this to you? Miracles are for today. Signs and wonders are for today. The days of miracles did not end with the early church. Like most people teach and they say the days of miracles have ended. They, it ended in the days when the apostles were here. No, miracles is continuous. Why? Because our God is a God of miracles. Uh, God is a God of miracles, signs, and wonders. So when I have the revelation of the miraculous, it is an indication that my faith can lay hold of it. My faith can lay hold of something I don't have revelation about. And this is what the Spirit of God is saying to us right now, that there is going to be harvest of miracles, things you couldn't do for yourself, things that are far beyond your natural capacity, things that you couldn't handle by yourself. God is going to give you uncommon manifestation of the miraculous so as we pray and prophesy expect the release of the spirit expect on common opportunity of the Holy Spirit. Expect the miraculous. Harvest of miracles. 
things that are far beyond your human capacity, you're going to see the involvement of the Holy Spirit. You're going to see God making a way. You're going to see God moving you in the direction of His will. Bilambiosha, 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 Sakina na Masaka. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy mighty visitation of the Spirit that you begin to see the miraculous in every area of your life, in your finances, in your business, in your career. You will see the supernatural hand of God taking you beyond your natural ability. Maskora Parabasanda Baba will prophesy miracles of supernatural open doors. Ladia Apako, Mengroso. Miracles after today. When you want to see the miraculous, you got to release your faith. And God will have me say this to you a lifestyle of the Spirit will attract the miraculous. A lifestyle of the Spirit will attract the miraculous. A lifestyle of the Spirit will, will attract the miraculous. We'll start seeing the miraculous. When we choose to make God's word the foundation of our operation, a lifestyle of the Spirit. You see, this is how you begin to see the hand of God come. You begin to see the power of God come into manifestation. Why? Because you trust the word of God. And he said, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good, that anointing empowered him to exceed expectation to exceed what people could ever imagine and jesus was having manifestations that were persistent with the will of god the anointing is for today the anointing that spirit that raised jesus from the dead is in operation and because it's in operation miracle signs and wonder will begin to break out rakuri gabaranto sakarabasuka prato sakaparako prakaro kapaprakato kapaprato Expect the miraculous. Expect the miraculous. What it has to do with ministry, it has to do with business, it has to do with your career. Expect the hand of God. The miraculous is a proof of God's involvement. It's an indication that the mercy of God is in your favor. The miraculous. Let me say this to you. Christianity without the miraculous is useless. Christianity without the power of God, without the miraculous issues, that the joy of Christianity is in the miraculous, is in the miraculous. When we begin to see what God can do, when we can trust God, when we can stand on his word, and we see him manifesting his word, he said he will confirm his word. He confirmed his word with signs following. His word contains power. There is so much energy in the word of God. There is so much power in God's word. This is why it's important that you have faith for the miraculous expect the impossible to be possible i don't care what the medical report is it is subject to the word of god i don't care what the situation may be in the natural it is subject to god's word this is why you gotta walk by faith this is why you gotta trust the word of god you're not gonna walk by sight in second corinthians 5 x 7 for we walk by faith and not by sight there are a lot of believers that are sight connected they are sight minded they have to see before they believe that's not true faith through faith in God, it is an action based on the will of God. Through faith in God, is an action based on the will of God. You are taking steps in the direction of the word of God. You're taking steps, and the Spirit of God is saying, it is time to expect a miracle. It is time to expect a miracle. You have that project. It looks impossible. Expect God to help you. Miraculous is a proof of God's hand. The miraculous is a proof of the hand of God. The miraculous, but you have to expect it. You have to believe God for it. You have to say, Lord, I trust you that you will give me a miracle concerning this situation. Maybe it's a legal situation, it's a financial situation, it's a business situation that you've done everything in the natural you knew how to do, but it looks like there is a limitation, it looks like there is a problem, it looks like nothing is working out. But you gotta stand under God's word. You gotta stand at the word of God and say, Lord, I trust the word. 
Lord, I believe your word. Lord, I stand on your word. Your word is my way out. Your word is my way out. And you stand on God's word. The miraculous is an indication of God's mercy. The miraculous is an indication of his mercy, that he's expressing his mercy towards you as you can do the impossible expect a miracle today there will be harvest of miracles i prophesy in the name of jesus that whatever need you may have or situation you may be dealing with in the natural that is far beyond your human capacity your natural ability your natural connection may you see the miracle power of god breaking through the situation and giving you an opportunity that will exceed your imagination that will exceed your expectation and bring you into a dimension where you can have an experience that is consistent with the will of God, receive right now by the power of God. Mazuka Pratosa Kababa. I prophesy you will hear good news today. You will hear good news today. Expect good news. Expect miracles. Expect doors of opportunities to be open to you. This is your season of something new. This is your season. Expect those that you never seen before. Open before you are because God is going ahead of you. And he will do for you what is far beyond your capacity if you can trust him. If you can say, Lord, I trust you. I'm not going to worry about my situation. I'm not going to worry about the report ahead. Your word will be my report. Your will will be my thinking. Your word will be my foundation. When you think from this perspective, nothing will be impossible to you. Expect a miracle. Expect a miracle. Miracle will happen to you today. Thank you, Father. Lord, I thank you. I prophesy my soul to everyone watching this broadcast by the release of the Spirit that your anointing and the presence of your Spirit will overtake them and cause them to have an experience that is consistent with your will. We're going to see harvest of miracles, harvest of favor harvest of supernatural help. Things we thought we couldn't do. We receive divine energy to carry a project that is far beyond our finances, far beyond our human ability because you have helped us. Now we come into our rest in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Expect a miracle today and you will have one. Hallelujah. If you're watching this broadcast and you're not born again, I'd like you to say this after me. Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth, I believe in my heart that God have raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Amen. The prayer that prayer doesn't mean you're born again, and the Spirit of God will lead you from this day forward. I want to encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Faith Man Teachings on YouTube, and you can stay connected to us through partnership by praying for this ministry and giving as the Spirit of God will lead you. When you want to do your giving, you can go to finishworktv.com and slash giving, or you can go to PayPal, it's Fitman Teaching at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's Fitman Teaching at G Fitman Teaching on YouTube. Just go subscribe. You have so many things to listen to that will empower you and help you take the lead in the right direction. And also, you can get our books by going to Amazon.com. There is greatness in you and for the things you need to know about your future. Until my next broadcast, don't forget this. There is greatness in you and Jesus is coming soon.